Deciding what shoes to bring with you to Disney World may actually be one of the most important decisions that you make in your whole Disney World trip planning process. Your feet and shoes are quite literally the thing that's going to carry you throughout your Disney World vacation, and it's important to choose shoes that are comfortable and allow you to experience all that you want while on your trip. And the amount of people that I see wearing cheap flip-flops, high heels, or bad tennis shoes to the park honestly needs to stop. So that's why today I want to share with you some of my Disney World shoe tips, as well as some examples so you can choose proper options to bring with you on your trip. The reason why the shoes you decide to wear is such an important decision is because the amount of Disney park guests that I see walk away at the end of the night with crazy blisters or honestly are not walking with any shoes at all is a crazy high number and one that I can't even use two hands to count on. You spend a lot of time and money planning this trip and good shoes are going to help you to experience all that you want on your vacation and allow you to experience it to the fullest. Truly, I don't think Disney park guests understand how much they are going to walk whenever at Disney World the parks are ginormous. You're going to be running around from ride to ride and you're definitely going to be on your feet all day and good shoes are going to help to keep you comfortable and avoid getting blisters or having sore feet. So there's four criteria I like to follow whenever it comes to my Disney park shoes. First, you have to make sure the shoes you are deciding to bring are comfortable. The shoes I always choose to wear to Disney World are always shoes that I know are comfortable and that I have experience walking in for long periods of time. These may be shoes that you may wear to work if you're on your feet for long periods of time that you wear multiple times throughout the day, or they could be good walking shoes that you have that you regularly exercise and know that they are good for walking. But ultimately, I always go for the ones that are comfortable on my feet that I know fit well and that I am comfortable wearing for long periods of time. The second thing that is vital is making sure that the shoes that are worn are actually broken in. The worst thing you want to do for yourself is to actually wear brand new shoes to Disney World. I can see the appeal. It's a new trip, a new experience. You may want new shoes for nice photos, but let me tell you that is the worst thing you want to do. Whenever wearing new shoes, you don't actually know how they are going to fit. They're not properly broken in, and that's a very good way to get blisters. So if you are choosing to purchase shoes before your Disney World vacation, definitely make sure that you are breaking these shoes in ahead of time. So that way, when you get to the parks, you can hit the ground running and already know that they are comfortable and properly broken in. That also gives you a good idea of where any pain points may occur in the shoes that you wear. If there are shoes that may have have caused blisters in the past or that rub on your feet a certain way, this can give you a good idea of where you maybe need to apply band-aids or blister patches in case you experience any irritation or chafing with shoes. The third thing that is always nice is if the shoes that I choose to wear are actually waterproof or can dry very easily. The weather here in Florida can get quite extreme, especially if you are visiting during the summertime. That is a very popular time to visit Disney World. The weather can vary at multiple points throughout the day and it's not uncommon for a crazy rainstorm to roll through. The drainage system at Disney World hasn't been the greatest lately, and when a crazy thunderstorm comes through, it's not uncommon for the walkways and sidewalks to turn into complete rivers, and at times guests have had to walk in ankle-deep water. Now, I'm sure you can see where that's going. At any point in time, you could have to step in puddles or walk around in the rain, and your shoes could definitely get wet during that time. And there's also water rides at Disney World you maybe would want to ride where your shoes could get wet whenever you're around. Riding. The advantage to having waterproof shoes or shoes that dry very easily are you avoid having wet and soggy shoes that you have to walk around in and all day. I know at one point or another you may have had to experience this and you know it is not a great feeling, especially whenever you're going to be at Disney World and doing as much walking as you're going to be doing. The last thing you would want are wet and soggy shoes, so definitely try to make sure that the shoes you choose are either waterproof or dry very easily. And the fourth tip is kind of a result of all of these, and I always like to make sure that I am bringing multiple pairs of shoes with me to Disney World. When you're coming to Disney World, you are definitely going to want to bring multiple pairs of shoes with you. I know it may be nice, you might have a go-to pair of shoes that you know you always like to wear, but if, like we talked about before, a pop-up rain shower occurs and your shoes are completely soaked, it would be nice for the next day to not have to worry about wearing those wet shoes again and already have a fresh pair of shoes ready to go that you can wear for the day. Not to mention, if a pair of shoes shoes that you are wearing don't end up being as comfortable as you remember or had planned to be, it's nice to have another pair to fall back on that you can switch either out in throughout the day or for the next day that you are visiting the park. The last thing you'd want to have is to keep wearing the shoes that are either giving you blisters or are still waterlogged from a day that you got caught in the rain. So it's nice having multiple pairs on hand that you can switch out in. So those are the four things that I always keep in mind whenever it comes to choosing park shoes to wear the Disney World. But let's give you some examples of shoes that you should 
consider wearing and that I have personally loved or either seen a lot of Disney guests wear. The first kind of shoes that are always perfect to wear to Disney World are good tennis shoes. Now when it comes to brands of tennis shoes that I usually like to wear, I usually choose either Adidas or Nike tennis shoes. These are a pair of Nike tennis shoes that I have frequently worn to Disney World and whenever I think about the tennis shoes that I like to wear, I always like making sure that they have a very thick sole for good cushion because you're going to be walking around the parks. There's most likely going to be all concrete that you're going to walk on. So it's nice having some cushion support that you can walk in to cushion your walk throughout the day. I also like trying to choose tennis shoes that have a very breathable and lightweight fabric. Like I said, choosing shoes that are able to dry very easily is a very nice feature of tennis shoes or shoes in general. So I always like making sure that the material that I'm choosing is either lightweight or breathable. These are another pair of my go-to Nike tennis shoes that I have chosen before. They have very nice, lightweight, breathable fabric and the sole is very nice and cushioned. So those are two pairs of tennis shoes that honestly I have really only worn whenever it comes to my Disney park shoes if I am going to wear tennis shoes. But as far as tennis shoes that I have seen a lot of Disney park guests wear are Brooks brand tennis shoes. I find that guests are very happy with the shoes that they wear if they choose Brooks tennis shoes because they have a very good cushioned bottom. And then another shoe that I swear I see every time I go to the Disney parks that I have not yet tried for myself, but are on my list as the next Disney park shoes that I would like to try are the On Cloud tennis shoes. Now I swear these must be go-to theme park shoes for whatever reason. I've seen them a bunch, not only at Disney World, but at Universal as well. A lot of Disney park guests have been very satisfied with these shoes when they wear them to Disney World because I have asked multiple guests what they actually think of the shoes because I'm personally curious myself. The thing I have heard about them is that they are very comfortable to walk in. They have a very good sole, very good cushion base, and the fabric is also very lightweight and breathable as well. So if they do get wet, they do seem to dry very easily. The only thing about both of those tennis shoes are the price point is definitely higher compared to the Nike tennis shoes that I typically wear. So if you are looking to purchase either of these options, you may have to pay a little bit more for the Brooks tennis shoes or the On Cloud tennis shoes, but it's a good idea just to have in mind some good park shoes that you can wear to Disney World. When I first started going to the Disney parks, I only wore tennis shoes because personally, I thought those were the only practical shoe to wear to the Disney parks until I was turned on to these other shoes that I swear I wear 99% of the time. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that they are the Croc wedges. They have absolutely changed my mind about the proper shoes to wear to Disney World and the shoes that I like to wear to the Disney parks. They are so comfortable, but let's just get into a couple of features about these shoes that I have absolutely grown to love. As you can see, they have a very, very thick sole. I absolutely love this because I find that walking around a full day at Disney World, my feet do not get sore at all. Whenever I would typically wear tennis shoes to the parks, my feet would definitely be sore at the end of the day and I would definitely realize that I need to be off my feet. But with these Croc wedges, they have absolutely changed the way that I go about doing the Disney parks and how long I can actually spend in the parks because my feet are not tired at the end of the day. I don't feel like they are super sore and the top part of the shoe has a little bit of squishy comfort as well. They have the light ride cushion on the base of the shoe here and then you just have the platform at the bottom. And as you can see as well, they are typical croc material. They are the rubber or whatever material that they are. And these are perfect for if it rains at the Disney parks. I absolutely love these because I know that I can continue to go about my day if it decides to rain or if it does decide to flood at Disney World. I don't have to worry about walking in ankle deep water because they're waterproof and I don't have to worry about my shoes getting wet. They come in multiple colors, multiple styles as well, but this is the go-to style that I have absolutely loved. So these are the shoes that I, like I said, 99 percent of the time I wear these to the parks. The only place that I have really experienced any blisters or any rubbing at all has been on this inside portion of the shoe. I have not gotten blisters at all. There's only been a little bit of rubbing. So if you deal with that, a nice thing would be to have band-aids on hand or blister patches on hand. So that way you can apply those if needed, if you're feeling any irritation at all. Now, as far as some other good sandal or waterproof type recommendations that I have for you are, I have seen a lot of park guests actually wear the Chaco's sandals that maybe you are familiar with. I have not personally worn them, but I know that a lot of guests are very thrilled with these because they are good if it decides to rain. They're very comfortable shoes and they have a very nice thick solid base that you can walk around on that I have found that 
guests have been very comfortable with throughout the day. So those are good sandals or like waterproof type shoes that you can wear. Sometimes I've gotten questions regarding other styles of Crocs, such as the classic Croc clog shoe. I have found that classic Crocs are also good shoes to wear to Disney World. A lot of people wear them to the parks. They have been very successful with them as well. The only thing that I like to do whenever I wear my Crocs is I actually like wearing socks with them because I find after a full day of walking around in them, my feet tend to slip around in them and definitely rub in places that I don't want them to and that I can feel blisters start coming on. So I recommend if you have a pair of Crocs and want to wear them to the parks, definitely try to walk around in them for long periods of time to see if they would work well for you. But other than that, they are perfect shoes if it decides to rain and they're great comfort level as well because they are very cushiony material. So I would recommend classic Crocs as well. I've gotten questions about the Croc sandals. Now I personally have never worn them and I don't know that these are shoes that I would wear for a full day at the park. Maybe I would wear them for a half day or if I was going to a dinner or a restaurant somewhere on Disney property, but I wouldn't wear them for a full day at Disney World because I don't think that they're secure enough on your feet or that they may be comfortable for long periods of time, but comfort is definitely subjective. So what works well for me may not work well for you. So ultimately what I have to recommend is wear the shoes that you are wanting to wear to the parks multiple times, test them out for long periods of time, Times and make sure that they are shoes that are going to be comfortable and will carry you multiple miles throughout your Disney World vacation. But shoes are not the only important thing you're gonna wanna think about when going to Disney World. The other thing you're gonna wanna consider is the clothing you are wearing to the Disney Parks. So here's a video of great outfit choices and clothes that you can wear to the Disney Parks to make sure that you're comfortable for your trip. I hope you found this video helpful when it comes to choosing shoes to wear to Disney World and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.